And welcome back on this Wednesday morning. Had to think who's here to find out what day it is. But 62 degrees out there. Some of you are already seeing some rain. Definitely a rain day today. Keep an umbrella close. High temperatures around 70, low of 55. And tomorrow morning you may see a little bit of rain as well. With the rain, of course, cooler temperatures. High temperatures tomorrow of only 65. Look at the rest of the forecast. Not bad. Maybe a little rain on Saturday. But it's a football day, so many of you don't care. You'll be inside Roll anyway. Back. All right. All right. We're talking to Picasso's Grill, the only Picasso's Grill in the state of Alabama I just found out so welcome guys how are you we're doing great how are you doing good now you're ready to cook something aren't you absolutely right. we're gonna cook a uh, blackened trout with uh, potato cake caramelized onions and bacon what is the first thing people do wrong when they attempt to cook fish um, they probably don't take out the bones I don't know a lot of things I mean there's a lot of things so they overcook it they cook it too high and don't turn it on well so the best thing with fish especially trout or salmon if you want to put a nice sear on it. And then after that, you want to turn it over. You can throw it in the oven and let it cook nice, low, and slow. All right. Well, I'm going to back, back off. You said back away so I don't get burnt. You know, cast iron, cast iron skillet's very hot. We got our North Carolina trout here. Okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. We don't want, you know. Not bad at all. He was just concerned. All right. Where exactly are you located? We are located on Highway 72. Well, we're right, right over on Highway 72, right next to uh, Starbucks, right in the same parking lot right there. Um, but uh, it's right here at the exit near the uh, hotels here. And, uh, but, um, yeah, it's right across from Chick-fil-A as well. And what are your hours? Uh, we're 11 to 11 is what we're trying to do, uh, trying to stay open that late, trying to have a business you know, that late, so. Which will be nice here for us. Yeah, it will be, and that's what we're trying to do, something a little bit different, offer a little bit more than what other people have done, you know, here lately. Well, I have to ask you, how long have you been in Alabama? A uh, year in July, so that's, that is, uh, we moved from Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. Jabari and I had worked together in a nice little restaurant in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, and uh, my wife is from this area, so, um, we, you had no choice. <laughs> it was in the cards. It, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir, of course. Definitely. Moving from New York, of course, I'm from Chicago, so I know it was a big culture shock for me, but I was 15. What was it like for you? Uh, I mean, honestly, upstate New York is, is no different than, than it is here. It's, uh, there's small towns everywhere in upstate New York. A lot of people get confused with New York City and upstate New York. There is a, uh, it's a much bigger uh, state than that, so uh, it really wasn't that big a deal for me. Uh, I've got my boys here, so we're going to bring them up in a nice small town atmosphere. That is, you're definitely going to be able to do that. What are some of the dishes that people can expect to see at your place? Um, one of them, which is my favorite, is the blackened trout that we're going to show everybody today. Um, but uh, also, we um, don't be afraid. No, okay. I just you know, um, but we also um, uh, have a, a ribeye that's on there. It's very good. Our fish and chips. We try to offer just a little bit of something uh, of each, um, not to put too much on the menu, so everybody gets confused by the time they get there. So we're just, you know, some are fried, some are grilled, and uh, choices of fish or meat or chicken. But uh, chicken fried chicken, southern chicken, we use pimento cheese uh, quite a bit. So we have a great pasta dish because uh, a lot of people get mixed up with the name. But uh, it is, uh, we have great uh, shrimp and grits. Uh, so there's, there's some good wholesome food on there too. Now it's coming up into the winter months, we're going to try and uh, uh, put out some more uh, comfort food. Oh, that sounds good and it smells really good in here too. Sounds like you're going to have a great place. Yeah, I mean... Like I said, it's, it's a nice place that offers a little bit of everything between wine and, you know, to raise different beers and, and some other uh, things there, too, to complement the food. Okay. So. Well, as you continue cooking, and we'll probably be eating here in just a little bit, we're going to head over to the other set. But, guys, thank you so much for getting up early. I'm looking forward to going and eating at Picasso's Grill. Try them out right here across from Chick-fil-A on Highway 72. All right, tell your wife we said hello. I will. <laughs> Many people probably know her here. <laughs> All right, Jamie? Now, Buck, you're out, you're, you could go over and try that machine before you leave. It's, it's tempting. I, I yeah, you. I know. It, you know <laughs> it gets you to percolate anymore. Now, you're, you, you open already. We're open, yeah. Now, what's the name of your business? Uh, well, we actually have two facets, facets of it. We've got Java J Cafe, which is uh, where people come in and dine in. And then next month, we're opening up a roastery called Espresso Firm of Alabama. Now, is this some of the stuff you make over there? This is, yeah. Um, We've got two different brands. We've got our flavored coffees, uh, the Java J flavored coffees. You can get this either uh, in the shop 
or you can also get it at Tennessee Valley Pecan Company on Bank Street oh, okay. in Decatur. And uh, we've also got uh, the stuff that we fresh roast in Decatur. Uh, again, it's called the Espresso Firm brand. We what is Bunk, what is the popularity with coffee over that? Is that Starbucks started all that stuff and now everybody just kind of goes in with them? Or cause you're, you're an independent. We are, yeah. yeah um, I'll, I'll give it to Starbucks. They, uh, they got the ball rolling for all the independent places in, uh, in America. Um, but the little grassroots shops, we're holding our own. And, uh, How many people can you see? I'm looking at some uh, pictures right now of your yeah. location over there on, on uh, 6th Avenue. Right. Uh, we can seat anywhere from about 40 to 50. Really? Yeah. Now, your hours are what, 6 to 6? Six? 6 to 6, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, 7 to 3. So people are still drinking a lot of coffee. Coffee's supposed to be good for you. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll get your heart running. It's, uh, you know, in moderation, of course, but <laughs> you don't oh. want to overdo it on anything. Uh, that's a nice beard you got, too. Well, thank you. That's a nice hair you got. Yeah, thank you. I, I, was, trying to, <laughs> I was trying to compliment you to where you might, you know, compliment me oh, yeah. on mine. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. one of these days yours may look like this. Well, that's what I'm shooting for. Yeah, so. right now it looks real good. Mine used to be kind of like that, but yeah, yeah. over the years it kind of went a different color for me. Well, at least now I know what I'm shooting for. Yeah, so. you got to know what to look for. Well, what can people expect when they come over and visit uh, Java Javis over that way? Well, uh, they'll get f the freshest coffee in North Alabama. Like we, like I said, we uh, everything that we serve in there, we roast the day prior to. Uh, grind that morning so you, you won't get a fresher cup. Um, we use a lot of different uh, processes to, to bring out that freshness. You also get deli sandwiches. Uh, some people say we got the best chicken salad in North Alabama. And you're located right there next to Big Bob Gibson's. Right next to Big Bob Gibson's. We are in the original Big Bob Gibson's building. So. All right, Buck, so you're from Coleman, Alabama. From Local Coleman. boy. Yeah. Bama fan. Bama fan. All right, see there? <laughs> you get that, Matt? <laughs> yeah, you got that? That's, that's what I was supposed to say. Right? Yeah, I was okay. supposed to say. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Thanks for coming up, Buck. Yeah, Good to pleasure. see you. You're welcome. Try the vibrating machine over there before you leave. Get that over there. All right. All right. Y'all go by and visit him. Tell him you saw him on Cooper and Company here, and everything will be up on YouTube later. Don't forget to hit us up on Ustream Live on your cell phone. All you got to do is, anyway, tell them how to We'll tell you all how to do that later. I don't know how, but you, you regular folks, you know how to do it, Can You can get us live on yourself. Right there it is. Ustream.tv. Search CBD, CTV Cooper. Get us anywhere in the world. 6 a.m. each and every day. We'll soon to have a whole Country Rover channel up and going. So anyway, check us out. There's all that. Bunk, thanks for coming up, but It's yes, good to sir. see you. Likewise. We'll take a break. Be right back. We're going to talk to the doc from Ardmore in just a second. Y'all hang on. Good. Good. Good.